ceremonies. Yeah, I like I like need those scissors to cut these apron strings. <laughs> So my son is 17 years old, and he's a high school senior. His name is Jake, and he's my only child. And he's smart and handsome and, and very independent. I don't know where he got that from. So naturally, at this age, he's starting to break away from the family and have his own life, and he doesn't seem to need me anymore for anything, really. So I'm having a hard time rolling with the punches. For maybe the past year or so, I felt a little ungrounded and lost, and my husband thinks I'm either having a midlife crisis or early onset empty nest syndrome. <laughs> so don't get me wrong, I'm not bored. I work full time, I have hobbies, but I feel like I'm suddenly on the edge of a cliff, or maybe less dramatically, at a fork in the road. How did I get here? Feels like it happened overnight. When Jake was 15, he still kissed me goodbye every single morning. And we were still having mom and son nights where we snuggled on the couch, eating popcorn, or watching a movie of his choice, which I had probably seen half a dozen times already. But I cherished every moment. Then, once he turned 16 with a car and a part-time job, he was gone, off on his own adventures. No more kisses goodbye, no more snuggling on the couch. I know this all sounds very melodramatic, but remember, he is an only child. So my friends with three or four kids at home can't fathom what all the fuss is about. But really, I've just been asking myself, like, who am I now if I'm not Jake's mom? What's my purpose here? As anyone with kids knows, once you have a child, you experience a love beyond what you thought possible and an intense need to care for and protect that person. Your child becomes the most important thing in the world. So what happens when your child grows up, when he doesn't necessarily need you anymore and he's ready to leave the nest? What happens? An emotional earthquake happens. Keep in mind, no other animal on earth keeps their offspring with them as long as humans. Only elephant mothers <laughs> come close. But then again, their pregnancies last 22 months and they nurse for four to six years. Yikes. <laughs> so, but in actuality, you carried this person in your body. No wonder it's hard to cut the apron strings when the time comes. And you know what? You can find books and probably YouTube videos out there on almost every single subject. I haven't come across one yet that tells me how to let go of my son and let him go out into the world on his own. But I understand that it's more than that. The reality is that I'm grieving the end of an era, the end of Jake's childhood, and what feels like the end of my role as his protector and caregiver. As Jake's mom, I knew who I was, and I had a very specific purpose. My purpose was to care for and protect this child. So we ensure that they're fed, and clothed, educated, healthy. We want them to learn the value of family and friends. Of course, there's the standard roles that come with motherhood, like chauffeur and personal shopper and short order cook. As a drill sergeant, we yell, hurry up, put your coat on, eat your veggies, brush your teeth, go to bed. As a pet caretaker, you know, I've cared for cats, dogs, fish, and even a mouse, briefly. And I've become an accomplished event planner. Although my skill set is limited to birthday parties with superhero things. <laughs> but you also learn to be whatever it is that your child needs you to be. A teacher, a tutor, a coach, a cheerleader, a confidant, and a therapist. You become a great mama bear and protector who tries to board the school bus to confront the kid who's been bullying your kid on the bus. <laughs> You become a researcher when your child has ADD and you need to understand how to help your child. You become a mother. So who am I now? What's my purpose? Well, I'm still Jake's mom. And recently he has let me do some mom type things like helping him rent a tux for prom and helping him get registered for college. And I've already been through all the stages of grief. Denial, anger, bargaining, I just want a little more time. <laughs> depression and finally acceptance. I accept that my son will be leaving the nest and beyond that acceptance I'm proud that he's become a smart, responsible, and independent adult. That not that what I was doing as a mother anyway? Preparing him to be a smart, responsible, independent adult. And I will continue to roll with the punches in this new stage of my life 
Maybe I will focus my attention on my husband and my 20-year marriage. I will rekindle those. Maybe, that was my spell to me. I will rekindle those friendships that I have neglected for too long. And I'll spend more time with my aging parents. All the while, I will continue to take care of and protect Jay, whatever ways I can and whatever way he'll let me, and work hard to maintain a strong emotional bond with him. I am, after all, his mother.